The James Webb Space Observatory has done it again. As time goes on and it discovers more and more about our space, it is fascinating how it manages to redefine virtually everything we thought we knew about space or defy any calculations made by scientists. Shocking new discoveries are constantly being unveiled as the date of its launch birthday approaches. Recently, the James Webb has detected an object that is 100 times larger than the Milky Way. How did it manage to discover such a structure? And what does this mean for humanity? Join us to explore a little more about it. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, hey, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. The number of structures that have been discovered occupy a wide range of characteristics. After publishing their first photograph on July 11, 2022, the fascination they generated made it clear that we are just beginning to get to know our outer space. This, of course, means that it would have been only a matter of time before we found an object much larger than our own galaxy. Space seems to be replete with such comparisons. After all, in our galaxy, we have a planet larger than many suns, Jupiter, just as there are moons of a similar size to the Earth. Back to the topic, and today's main protagonist, let's talk about the strange Alcyonius galaxy. This is a radio galaxy, a type of galaxy that is very luminous in radio frequencies. These radio frequencies span a particularly broad spectrum, with wavelengths ranging from 10 MHz to 100 GHz. Although the James Webb Space Telescope has not yet studied this imposing galaxy in depth, it is hoped that it will soon help to shed light on the mysteries it conceals. Meanwhile, returning to today's protagonist, Alcyonius is located 3.5 billion light years away from our galaxy. According to several scientists, this galaxy is one of the strangest things ever found in our universe. The beginning of its history is complicated in itself. This massive and imposing galaxy was discovered by accident and what we could tell you as a great stroke of luck. Estimates made by scientists indicate that this galaxy will rank as the largest known galactic structure in our universe. To understand this a little better, it's necessary to note that, as a general rule, radio galaxies have a supermassive black hole at their center. As it traps matter in its interior, two radio jets are expelled to opposite sides of the nucleus of the galaxy itself. This process ends up generating a large amount of loose particles in space, particles that end up forming part of the creation of new stars and planets. Simply put, the galaxy is an ecosystem in itself, where a constant cycle of creation and destruction is repeated and respected. At the time, Alcyonius was discovered by a group of scientists using the Low Frequency Telescope Array, or LOFAR. This is an array of variable frequency telescopes spread across Europe. Although the existence of Alcyonius had been suspected for some time, confirming its presence had proven to be much more challenging than expected, especially since its columns were faint. However, years of observation facilitated its discovery, as scientists reprocessed all the information they had about the galaxy, discovering new and interesting patterns that eventually form the final pieces to find Alcyonius. This methodology is relatively popular, being used many times to prove or disprove the existence of other galaxies. The case of Alcyonius is particularly interesting and curious, mostly because of its size. This factor has generated many doubts over time, considering that there is still no reliable explanation to explain how it managed to reach its size. Throughout the video, we have mentioned that this galaxy is considerably larger than the Milky Way, our galaxy. But how massive is it really? First of all, we need to understand that galaxies, as well as planets and stars, are measured from one point of view, the Earth. The only way to estimate the size of a galaxy is by observing astronomical images captured by a space observatory from this point of view. Based on several reference values, it was possible to accurately measure the wingspan of Alcyonis, which is located at 16 million light years. Although this number alone seems surprising, it turns out that the size of this galaxy is equivalent to 100 times the length of the Milky Way. Now here, we gotta take a moment and wake our knowledge. 
especially about this particular type of galaxy. To the date, there are approximately 1,000 radial galaxies known to exist, of which only 10 of them are more than 10 million light years across. Now, with this size and being located 3.5 billion light years away, if this galaxy were visible to the naked eye, it would occupy the same size as our moon in the celestial vault. Alcides discovery is of great scientific importance, providing vital information about some filaments of our cosmic web that, even today, are difficult to characterize. When talking about the cosmic web, we are basically talking about the building blocks of the universe, composed mainly of interconnected filaments and dark matter, bonded with gases on which galaxies will eventually be built. The clearest and most relevant example of these filaments will be the Great Wall of Hercules Boreal Corona, which measures about 10 trillion light years, hosting billions of galaxies. On the other hand, when talking about voids, it's necessary to mention the Keenan Barber and Cowie, popularly referred to as KBC. Its diameter is estimated to be around 2 billion light years, and our galaxy is contained in this spatial region. Like the Milky Way, Alcyadeus lies in its own filament. Its columns experience a kind of headwind as it moves through the medium. The subtle change affects both its trajectory and the way its columns move which seemed to perform something resembling as rather slow dance. About its size, much speculation has been made. Some scientists theorize that its impressive size, which seems to defy physics itself, is due to the fact that this galaxy was born from a black hole. Although this is a possibility that seemed viable, it was proven incorrect. A curiosity that could be linked to the beginning of this galaxy is that in all its extension, no moon has been found. It's important to note that moons are quite common stars throughout our universe. So, the total lack of moons in an entire galaxy could imply or provide clues about its origin. Theories explain that the lack of moons is not because they do not exist, but because of how difficult it has proven to be to explore this galaxy. It's expected that over the next few years, or even months, the James Webb will be able to provide the necessary information to clarify the mysteries hidden in this galaxy. In addition, astronomers have pointed out that this galaxy is in constant expansion. As a consequence, Alcyonius is a region with a lower density than the average in which it is located. Scientists who are part of the group that found Alcyonius committed that, beyond the geometry, Alcyonius and its host are suspiciously ordinary. The total low-frequency luminosity density, stellar mass, and supermassive black hole mass are lower than, but similar to, those of the medial giant radio galaxies. Only time will dictate the fate or what we will be able to discover about this galaxy, which could hide in its imposing size some answer that will allow us to know a little more about how our universe works and the cycles through which it goes through. We invite you to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to keep up to date with our next releases, while we discover some of the secrets that are hidden in the vast solitude of space. That's all for today. If you liked the video, hey, hit the like button, and we hope to hear from you in the comments box. See you soon.